Moments, calculating tension in a cable by kscience.com. What we've got here is a uniform 20 meter steel pole. And this is the center of its mass. And the weight of this steel pole is 4,000 newtons. So we place the pole on a pivot, whereby the pivot is five meters away from the end of the pole. We know that the pivot to the center of the mass is also five meters. This is a supporting cable holding the steel pole in the air, so it is balanced on the pivot. The T is the force due to the tension in the cable. So T is a force measured in newtons. So we're going to calculate the tension in the supporting cable that is attached vertically to the other end of the steel pole. We measure the weight of the steel pole at the center of its mass. So this is 4,000 newtons in weight. So to calculate the anti-clockwise moment, you recall the equation m equals f times d, whereby the moment m is the mass of the steel pole, 4,000 newtons, times by the distance from the pivot to the center of the mass, which is five meters. It's not to the end of the pole, so it's not 15 meters. So the anti-clockwise moment is 20,000 newton meters. So the clockwise moment in the steel pole. So what is D, the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot? So the distance from the supporting cable to the pivot is 15 meters. It's 10 meters from the supporting cable to the center of the mass, plus the additional five meters from the center of the mass to the pivot. So the distance from the supporting cable to the pivot is 10 meters from the supporting cable to the center of the mass, plus the additional five meters from the center of the mass to the pivot is 15 meters. Because the steel pole is balanced, the anti-clockwise moment must equal the clockwise moment, which is 20,000 newton meters. So it's 20,000 newton meters equals distance 15 meters times the force, which we're trying to figure out the tension in the supporting cable. So to work out the tension in the supporting cable, we must also recall the equation m equals f times d. So you rearrange for the force, the tension in the supporting cable, which equals the moment divided by the distance. So the tension in the supporting cable equals 20,000 newton meters divided by 15 meters. So tension equals 1,333.33 newtons. So tension equals 1,333.33 newtons. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.